All set. We are live. Thank you. Uh, good evening. This meeting of the Coventry Town Council will come to order at 6.30 p.m. Roll call, Ms. Ludwig. Here. Mrs. Shockley. Here. Mr. LeBlanc. Here. Mrs. Dixon. Here. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Shockley, would you please lead us in the pledge? Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mrs. Shockley. You may be seated. May I have a motion to recess into executive session for Rhode Island General Law 42465A2 litigation for discussion of the following matter, social holdings versus the town of Coventry, number KC 2020-0769. May I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Mrs. Shockley, thank you. May I have a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Mr. LeBlanc. Any discussion? We'll call Ms. Ludwig. Yes. Mrs. Shockley. Yes. Mr. LeBlanc. Yes. Mrs. Dixon. Yes. Four yeas, no nays. The motion is approved. Members of the council, please access the Zoom link for the executive session. Thank you. The public meeting of the Coventry Town Council is now resumed at 7.17 p.m. Do I have a motion to adjourn from executive session? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Ms. Ludwig. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Mr. Shockley. Any discussion? Roll call vote, Ms. Ludwig? Yes. Mrs. Shockley? Yes. Mr. LeBlanc? Yes. Mrs. Dixon, yes. Four yeas, no nay. The motion passes. Members of the public, the town council met in executive session for Rhode Island General Law 42465A2 for discussion of the following matter. Social Holdings versus the Town of Coventry, number KC 2020-0769. No votes were taken. May I have a motion to seal the minutes of the executive session? I'll make a motion to seal the minutes. Mr. Ludwig, may I have a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Mr. Shockley. Any discussion? Roll call vote, Ms. Ludwig? Yes. Mr. Shockley? Yes. Mr. LeBlanc? Yes. Mrs. Dixon, yes. Four yeas, no nay. Item C2, approval of a town council meeting minutes, March 27th, 2021, reference pages 4-12. Madam Clerk, did you receive any written corrections? I did not. Okay. May I have a motion to approve the minutes for March 27, 2021? I'll make the motion. Thank you, Mr. LeBlanc. May I have a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Mr. Shockley. Roll call vote, Ms. Ludwig? Yes. Mr. Shockley? Yes. Mr. LeBlanc? Yes. Mrs. Dixon, four yeas, no nays. The minutes for March 27, 2021 are approved. Um, item C3. Recognition of former town council members. Um, as council president, I do take full responsibility for the misunderstanding about recognizing our former council members. The town appreciates and wants to recognize the service of all members who have served our town. The council will review past practice re relating to recognition. We just need a little bit of time to do so. So therefore, may I have a motion to postpone the recognition of former town council members including Ms. Bacon, whose name was inadvertently left off the agenda. I'll make a motion. Thank you, Mrs. Shockley. May I have a second? I'll second the motion. Thank you, Ms. Ludwig. Roll call vote, Mr. L Ms. Ludwig? Yes. Mrs. Shockley? Yes. Mr. LeBlanc? Yes. Mrs. Dixon, yes. Four yeas, no nays. The motion is approved. Discussion of FY21-22 draft budget communications plan. Uh, we're happy to report that on Friday, February 7th, 2021, a small group of people, including Vice President Ludwig, 
Town Manager, Mr. Marchand, Assistant to Superintendent, Mr. Cowart, School Committee Member, Mr. Murray, and two members of the public, Mr. Lee Restall and Mr. Bob Heavey, met to begin drafting a communications plan regarding the budget. A number of ideas were discussed, including the placement of signs, and messaging. Another meeting is planned for this week, although the time has not been identified. Time is of the essence and the plan must be completed by the end of the week so that we can prepare, be prepared for this budget season. Item C5. Madam Clerk, will you please read the agenda item? Proclamation declaring the month of May 2021 to be Older Americans Month. Thank you. I want to thank Mr. Robillard, who's the director of the Coventry Resource and Senior Center for bringing this proclamation to our attention. Um, I read the proclamation. Uh, Whereas the town of Coventry includes a growing number of older Americans who have built resilience and strength over their lives through successes and difficulties. And whereas the town of Coventry benefits when people of all ages, abilities and backgrounds are included and encouraged to share their successes and stories of resilience. And whereas the town of Coventry recognizes our need to nurture ourselves, reinforce our strength and continue to thrive in times of both joy and difficulty, and whereas the town of Coventry can foster communities of strength by creating opportunities to share stories and learn from each other, encouraging older Americans through education, recreation, and service, and encouraging people of all ages to celebrate connectness, connectionness, connections, excuse me, and resilience. Now, therefore, the Coventry Town Council hereby declares the month of May 2021 to be Older Americans Month. We urge every resident to recognize older adults and the people who support them as essential contributors to the strength of our community. In testimony thereof, I hereby set my hand and cause the seal of the town to be affixed this 10th day of May. May I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Thank you, Ms. Ludwig. Uh, second, please. I'll second the motion. Thank you. Any discussion? Roll call vote. No, no, I, I have a question. Certainly. Um, thank you. Is this part of a national Older Americans Month? Um, From what we've been told, that is correct. Okay, um, that's great. So possibly this is just how I'm reading this, but it says the month of May, 2021. Is this going to become an annual? Or we, have not, we have not received any notification on that, but certainly we're certainly interested in recognizing our older Americans every year. Should we receive a proclamation and a request from Mr. Robillard? No, I mean, I think Coventry has a, has a large older population. Um, I was I was just curious if this was to make us part of a larger um, celebration. Uh, good question. I don't know the answer to that question, but I certainly can um, contact Mr. Robillard and, and get back to all members with, with that response um, because it's certainly a good question. Thank you for bringing up that question. So um, we're on to the vote. Uh, raise your hand if you are in favor of Declaring this Older Americans Month. Four to zero. Thank you, four yeas, no nays. I'd like just to mention, I'd just like to mention in July 16th, 2020, in one of our referendums, I looked up some statistics. There were 2,116 voters who voted in the referendum. 504 were 65 and older, 330 were 70 years and older, and there were 161 voters who were 75 years and older, and the oldest was 94 or 95, depending upon the birth month. Now think about that. People in their 90s are coming out to vote at a referendum, and I, we appreciate our older residents who are taking the time to vote, and we also encourage 
everyone else to come out to vote in the next referendum that we're going to have in June, because the older Americans are coming out to vote. And no matter what their age, they feel it's important to voice their opinion at the, at the polls. So thank you to all the older Americans. Um, I'm sure there are lots of other statistics that can show the participation of these people who are in our community and who are supporting our democratic process. So thank you so much, everyone. Item C6, Announcement of Economic Development Commission members. Mr. Marchand. I'm gonna to ask to make that announcement at the next meeting since I haven't had a chance to talk with each of the members that um, the, the town council previously interviewed and formally invite them. So I'd, I'd hate to announce names before I've talked to every one of them. Uh, that's, that's perfectly fine. Um, may I have a motion to uh, table, that, table that announcement? Well, I'm looking forward to when you do it. I will make a motion. Thank you, Mr. Shockley. I'll second. second. Thank you, Mr. LeBlanc. Any discussion? Okay, please raise your hand if you're in favor of tabling that announcement. Thank you. Four yeas, no nays. The motion, oh, the motion to table passes. The next is some um, announcements that um, I'll, I'll go through these very, very quickly. Again, the Coventry Town Council invites residents to assemble on the town hall lawn on May 15th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. to meet and greet our new town manager, Mr. Benjamin Marchant. We're very excited that the town council after two years of searching has been able to uh, find a professional manager, Mr. Marchant, and along with Ms. Mills have really been put to the fire in about one month to develop a budget. And we greatly appreciate all of the effort, lost hours of sleep that they I'm sure have put or that they have lost because things are diff very difficult when you come into a budget season so late in the year. So thank you so much. At our meet and greet, you'll be able to meet these fine people. And you'll also be able to meet um, town department heads. Each will have a table on the front lawn. You'll be able to meet town council members. And the Coventry Historic Preservation Commission will also have some Coventry artifacts. Uh, so come celebrate with us. There will be light refreshments and all Department of Health COVID regulations and guidelines will be followed. Uh, the next announcement is the Town of Coventry Financial Town Meeting. Please, everyone who's listening to us, this will take place on Tuesday, June 8th at 7 p.m. virtually. And the all important day referendum will take place on Thursday, June 10th. Uh, all day. There was a mistake in the agenda. It says the time is at 7 p.m. only, but I want to mention that the referendum voting will take place all day. Usually it's from about 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Voters have been told that they want to retain the right to vote at the budget, yet a small percentage of voters are deciding the fate of our budget. It is important to mark your calendar and vote June 10th. Finally, the council is continuing its effort to encourage, the, to encourage the engagement of residents on boards and commissions. We have the following openings. Conservation Commission, four openings. They don't have enough people. The commission has no, not enough people to even have a quorum to have any meetings. So I sent a message to Mr. Crossman and I asked him if he could just submit a statement as to what the members of that commission do. This is what he responded. The purpose of the commission, meaning the Conservation Commission, is to promote and develop the natural resources, protect the watershed resources, and preserve natural, natural aesthetic areas within the town of Coventry. The commission may also recommend to the town council, municipal boards and agencies, a program for the better promotion, development, utilization, or preservation of open areas streams, shores, wooded areas, roadsides, swamps, marshlands, and natural aesthetic areas. So if you have an interest in the outdoors, please do submit an application and a resume if you have one to the town clerk. Mrs. Shockley. Um, President Dixon, if you could please email that description Mr. Crossman gave to the rest of the council. Um, I, I would like to share that on social media just so people have a better idea of what we're looking for. Absolutely, I received it this morning. I didn't have an opportunity to send it out, but you certainly, mm -hmm. I would certainly love to have you do that because it helps people to understand uh, what these groups do. 
Uh, people actually group. often ask what the group does and what the time commitment is. Um, so that would be a great thing if we could put that out there for our residents who are interested in helping and are really just looking for what we need. Excellent. Excellent idea. We will do that pronto. Uh, the next um, commission, uh, the sewer subcommittee, we have openings for members and alternates. We have two members of the council who are on the sewer subcommittee, and I'm going to ask um, Mr. LeBlanc if you could just give an overview for those who are listening as to what is the role of the sewer subcommittee and encourage people to apply. Uh, the role of the sewer subcommittee is to approve uh, tie-ins, uh, discuss potential uh, new development um, that is requesting uh, sewer access, um, and then um, the sewer subcommittee does take guidance from the town council as to uh, perhaps uh, join in um, the discussion when it comes to uh, the facilities plan update. Uh, every five years, a facilities plan update has to be uh, completed. Um, actually, in 2021, ours is up and it needs to be resubmitted to the state uh, or to the DEM, I should say. Um, so things like that. Um, but that is the pretty much the majority of what the sewer subcommittee does. Thank you so much. Ms. Ludwig, would you like to add anything to that description? No, thank you. Okay, thank you. That was, that was accurate. I would expect nothing less than from Ms. Delaplane. Thank you so much. Uh, Coventry Housing Authority, we have one opening. This is a message from Ms. Letty, who is the Executive Director of the Housing Authority about the work of the authority. Again, she submitted this to me this morning so, so that um, I certainly will send it off to members. The Board of the Coventry Housing Authority is entrusted with the authority to establish policy for the governance of the authority. Board policy establish, establishes parameters and guidelines for board members, committees, management, and staff for the operation of the authority and occupies the role of a fiduciary for the organization. The board delegates to the executive director responsibility for policy interpretation to the staff and to the public. And if there's any additional information, certainly Ms. Letty has offered her services to anyone who would like to contact her directly. Um, I would make, mention that the reason there is an opening is Mr. DePadua uh, is retiring after being a member for 15 years of service on that particular authority. So we'd like to thank Mr. DePadua for all his service to our community. 15 years is a, a long time in serving and we certainly appreciate um, the role that he has played in the authority. And I think we noticed that the activity of the housing authority and providing some low income housing for our residents. Okay, again, submit an application, a resume, if you have one to the uh, town clerk. Um, if you need information or you have a difficulty in finding the application on our website, please just call Ms. Alvatrano and she'll be happy to help you. Uh, item C8, our administrative officer, Mr. Wazika, um, will present the sewer enterprise fund budget, which he has worked on with Ms. Mills. So, um, Mr. Wazika. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Give me two seconds. I am going to, uh, I need to share my screen. I passed out, uh, I sent an email out today to everyone and uh, included the uh, uh, budget or the numbers, because I don't consider this an actual budget at this point. Um, so, my board. I apologize. I thought I had this open. I must have closed it when I printed it. Give me two seconds, please. I need to get to my desktop.
I humbly apologize. Okay, I'm having an issue with that. So I've uh, passed this out. We will put this on the website. We have, uh, we're currently looking at a uh, total uh, expenditures on, on the sewer enterprise fund of $2.5 million. Lisa, thank you. You shared it? That wasn't me. That's that member LeBlanc's screen. Mr. LeBlanc. Hey, thank, you. thank you very much. Sorry, it was, uh, it was me. It's me. I, I was I just, searching. Well done, Jamie. I appreciate it. Okay. No so, so let's go down to the bottom. You're going to look at the, at the expenditures first. These are all locked in expenditures. There's no room for playing around with any of these numbers. They are the, they are the bond payments, all of the mandatory payments that we pay as part of, from this fund. So that $2.5 million is uh, all of the expenditures we have. And when you roll up to the top of this, at the current, current analysis that we have, we're looking at 2.127 million in revenue coming in. Now, that's obviously showing a, a shortfall of uh, $373,000 currently. The reason we did what we did last year with the Raptalis and going and developing the, the, the utility that we have to set up and do the sewer use fee calculations based on the need to keep this in the black. We're gonna to have to go back and look at that and do a, a, and do a reset on that. And we'll have to come up in front of the council to request a, uh, an additional increase. What we're looking at though, to try to mitigate this is the uh, the assessments have dropped down substantially because of that ones that have been paid off and just what's left on the books for assessments. And I've, I've discussed in the past, the fact that our assessments are way under on the evaluation of what's still owed on all of these bond, bonds. And that's the problem. What we're, what we're looking at is all new development coming online over the next 12 months to be able to add in all of those numbers into those assessments and any fees that are coming in. So we can set that, uh, that sewer use rate at the absolute lowest increase possible. So we don't put these bills out till September in, uh, for the next year. So we're still looking at and trying to come up with, like I said, some better numbers on that. Something else I've come up with as I've gone through all of this research on this, there's nothing in our ordinance about a budget. Uh, surprising, it doesn't talk about anywhere about a council approved budget or anything else for the sewer enterprise fund. It simply talks about the use fees, paying the bills for whatever else we have. So this is one of the things that we're going to have to obviously upgrade and update and change in our, our sewer ordinance, because it doesn't even include a budget that's authorized and approved by the count, town council. So that's where we are right now. I know it's, uh, it's not where I, I want to be, but where we, uh, when we ran these numbers and working with Lisa and coming up with these totals, we have found that we are uh, short, short by almost four hundred thousand dollars, and that's why we'll be looking at needing to do a uh, an adjustment to the sewer use fee. What that's going to be at this point, I don't know. We still have plenty of time to do it, and we're going to be working on it over the next month or two to try and find any additional revenue coming in on new developments that are coming into town and putting putting additional revenue into this system. So that's where we are currently. That's where it's uh, looking for right now. But we are hoping to uh, to change that bottom line number. So the increase that we request in front of the council is nowhere near the uh, 373,000 that it's currently looking like. Okay, question for Mr. LeBlanc. Yes, I know, it can't, I know it can't help for this uh, budget, but um, uh, I saw the list of all the debt that we still have uh, open uh, and knowing the financial statements like back of my hand for the town, um, I do know we have that debt schedule and it, it, it includes the, the rates for all of the debt that we have, including the sewer debt. And some of those rates are a lot higher than the rate that uh, we could possibly currently get. Uh, I didn't know if you've given any thought to maybe refinance, not kick the can down the road and extend the life, but just get a better rate no, for we, any of the uh, debt that we have there. No, that is that is that is actually something we are we are looking about. We've discussed it, 
and we will be going looking at going out and, and hopefully being able to redo all of the debt into a single bond and uh, and have a, a substantial savings as well as make it easier because again we have to do our interest rate on these on the assessments based on an a rolling average of all of these interest rates. So yes, we're working on that. We're hoping to make a change. And again, all part of that, if we can get it done in time, that will have an impact on this upcoming budget on the total uh, bond payments on that. So yeah, we're looking at that. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, thank you. Any other questions? This is Shockley. Thank you. And it could just be how I'm reading this, but I just, I don't understand. So the first column is what was budgeted for the entire fiscal year of 2021. Correct. The second column is what has actually been either taken in or spent during the first six months of 2021. Yes. Why are our revenues so much higher than we projected for the entire year? We had a $2 million plus transfer when we wiped out part of the debt to the town by doing the assessments of the prior council. And it's a recommendation, it was a recommendation from the attorney, uh, the Auditor General's office. So we had about two, $2 million plus in town assessments on town property. We owed, the town was owed $3 million in change from the sewer enterprise fund. So there was a wash on that. We actually wiped out the assessments. So it has to be booked as a revenue coming in. It's actually just a line out. It's not a revenue in. It's just a wash on the debt that was owed. But that's why that number looks so high. Okay. Um, all right, that makes sense. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Wazika, when you say there may have to be an adjustment in the um, sewer fees, um, what does that mean? What would be the process by which you would come to the council, determine what it should be, come to the council, et cetera? It will be if we are in the red, if we're not bringing in enough revenue to cover the cost, then if we don't, if we can't find enough additional coming in based on the new developments that are going in and coming online over the, over this, over in this next fiscal, uh, next fiscal year for the system, then we will have to, produce that revenue from the uh, the user fees. We'll have to increase the user fee rate. So does that mean that maybe by December, some decision might have to be made? Or are we talking about at the end of say June 22? No, it'll, it, that decision has to be made. The bills go out in September okay. for, the sewer, for the sewer use fees. So the decision and approval or denial by the council will have to take place before that time frame. So those, a bit, those bills can be uh, properly sent out. Okay, Mr. LeBlanc. Uh, Mr. When Raph tell us, uh, did their presentation, did they suggest a back-to-back -back rate increase? Because uh, I, I thought the last rate increase was on the Coventry side, 50%, and that was done last year. And, right. and did their analysis uh, stipulate that the following year we would have to increase? No, but they it did stipulate that every year we would have to do a reanalysis to determine if if the revenues were sufficient to cover the cost, and that that's the reason why we did what we did with this with this tool, so we can we're able to do that and be able to get accurate numbers and have accurate information to give to the council and the, the residents. That makes sense. Okay, thank you, Mr. Gorham. Yes, um, Ed, do the uh, numbers on your uh, budget, do they reflect the revenue that came into the sewer fund from the center of New England assessments? The the actual, I do not believe they have at, been added in yet. That number is, uh, I don't believe has been added in. I've got to talk to Lisa about that. I spoke to her last week. I think it was about those numbers, the 100 and, uh, 180,000, I think it's 186,000. I do not believe that's in last year's revenue at this point or the uh, this year's revenue. I Thank should say last year, but this year's. So that number will actually, again, this was only until uh, the end of January. So we're still looking at, at those and that will be adjusted as that number gets, as it gets brought in. Okay. So it sounds like the picture might get brighter with the addition of those numbers. Well, that'll be in the current fiscal year. That's not gonna be in the in, in the upcoming. So no, okay. it's, not, right. it's not gonna help it. I was hoping. Uh, Ms. Ludwig. 
it would be helpful to bring this type of documentation into the sewer subcommittee as well to have some discussion and, and possible brainstorming uh, with that audience. We do have a new member uh, who, who will be joining us as well. Um, I don't know if it's too late now. I think, I think we have a session, um, I think it's Wednesday. There is one scheduled, yeah, there is one scheduled, Jen. If you want, we can set that up and I can, uh, I can do this at the next meeting if you'd like. I, I think we should. We have a, a team, we have a subcommittee that, in my opinion, has not been tapped to its potential. And this feels like an item that we should, should bring into that group for discussion. I agree completely. Thank you. Are there any other questions for uh, Mr. Wazika or Ms. Mills? One last question, uh, President yes. Dixon. Yes, Mr. Um, on, on the budget that I had received for the town, we, we actually had removed the 200,000 of some uh, supplemental funds uh, that should go to the uh, sewer enterprise fund. Are we gonna be adding that back in? Yeah, um, Mr. LeBanc, uh, yes, I, I did add it in. Um, so in preparation for the new proposed budget that the town council is um, leaning towards, you know, the new potential new rate or of rate of levy, I, I already changed that. We had a we surplus. The okay. Yeah, the old, the, that the budget that, uh, that you saw originally with a 3.95, there was a surplus of one, 143,000. And then I just had a um, additional savings in the property taxes. I mean, excuse me, the uh, general liability um, for the town based on the, the new application and the process that we looked at. We got rid of old vehicles that were on there. So we had a roughly about 80,000 savings. So that with the surplus is gonna pay for that additional 200,000 and I already put it in there. Perfect, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Any other questions? Well, thank you, very, uh, Mr. Waziki. You have a question? No, I was I was telling my my wife who just got back from Key West to please be quiet. <laughs> uh, so you can stop dreaming about being in Key West now, I guess. Um, <laughs> thank you, thank you so much, Mr. Waziki and Miss Mills. I know that um, we we asked for this report very quickly um, and uh, you came through for us as you always do. And we greatly appreciate it because it gives us an idea of where we stand with this particular fund. And as you mentioned, we don't have a need for a budget based on the ordinance, but something that we should consider. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I noticed Mr. Robillard is on the call. Mr. Robillard, could you come in? Hello. Hi, I, I, I didn't see you on the call earlier. Maybe you were there, but we did uh, proclaim May the month of the older Americans. And Mrs. Shockley had a question regarding this proclamation. And perhaps Mrs. Shockley, you might want to repeat your question because Mr. Robillard can answer the question. Uh, yes, we've already approved the proclamation, but I was just wondering if we're, this is part of a larger federal um, month that yes, actually a actually it is a na it's a national um uh, a national uh recognition of older americans i think especially since um you know the social isolation with covid it's such a timely topic it's also may is also mental health uh, awareness month so um i think it goes hand in hand with uh, older americans month making sure that we are looking at the mental health and well-being of our our eldest um, resource. So um, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. I'm, I had a little difficulty getting on um, initially, so I appreciate the proclamation and the um, you know, awareness of our elders in the community. We did it, we were happy to do it. We even gave statistics about uh, the voting in the uh, July referendum, and really to talk about how well the older Americans in our community are really getting out to vote. So we greatly appreciate what they're doing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, the next item, Madam Clerk, would you please read the agenda item? Are we going on to D1 and D2? Yes. yes. Uh, I request that we table both of those 
Uh, D1 has an issue that uh, Solicitor Gorham brought to my attention earlier today that it doesn't meet the OMA standards and we may need to do some more uh, vetting of that one. And with D2, uh, the eternal attorney general would ask us to post the bid amount that we would be approving. So uh, D2 should also be tabled until the next meeting. Okay, may I have a motion to table uh, item D1, the resolution affirming the award of a contract for the municipal government fleet police program. May I have a motion to table? I'll make a motion to table these. Thank you, Ms. Ludwig. We'll take one at a time. Do I have a second? A second. Thank you, Mr. LeBlanc. Any discussion? All right, roll call vote, Ms. Ludwig. One moment. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd, I'd just Mr. like Dr. to say, um, I, I think it's great we're trying to get these out faster if possible, but I think we've had to table four things tonight on our agenda due to the fact that they weren't correct. So I'm just not sure if it would actually save time. Um, to I, possibly Mr. Gorham, I'm not sure exactly who should be looking at this agenda before it goes out, but just to make sure we don't have to table items because of um, situations that the person who makes the agenda may not know. That's all, I'm more than happy to table them. I just don't want it to happen all the time. Uh, Mr. Mr. Gorham and I do review the agenda at the end of a, of a week before the meeting. Um, I was not aware of tabling these two resolutions. Um, so maybe Mr. Gorham can give us a little more information. Mr. Gorham? Yeah, the problem with, do uh, you want me to explain why D1 and D2 are not appropriate to vote upon tonight? No, it's not that I need it to be explained why they're not. It's that it went out with multiple items that aren't we're not able to do. Right, right. Um, it was approved by uh, a member of my firm. I came in and looked at it this morning. Um, and I came to the conclusion that it is simply not appropriate to vote on this. And I can explain why. Um, it, it just it would put the council in jeopardy to vote on it. Uh, but look, it was a member of my firm who approved it. And uh, that's on us, no question about it. It doesn't happen very often. Usually uh, when, when I have the chance to approve the agenda, uh, I'm 100% sure that we're gonna be okay. This is just one of the few agendas that I did not personally approve. Okay, I'd also it... like to add that this morning I instituted a new protocol where I will be reviewing all items before they go to the town clerk for being placed on the agenda to make sure that all the staff work is completed. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thank you. All right. So um, we have to have a, a, on the floor is a motion to table uh, D1, the awarding of a contract for the uh, fleet lease program, ready for the vote, Ms. Ludwig? Yes. Mr. Shockley? Yes. Mr. LeBlanc? Yes. Mrs. Dixon? Yes. For yeas, no nay, the motion passes table. Uh, D2, uh, Mr. Gorham, um, just a little brief explanation of why this was tabled. D2. Because it doesn't have the amount of money in it. Okay. Neither does one. D1 doesn't have the amount of money. That's important. Okay, thank you for, for catching that, very important. Um, may I have a motion to table D2, the resolution affirming the award of the contract for demolition of 700 Washington Street buildings. May I have a motion to table? I'll make the motion. Thank you, Mr. LeBlanc. May I have a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Mrs. Shockley. Any discussion? Okay, roll call vote. Ms. Ludwig? Yes. Mrs. Shockley? Yes. Ms. LeBlanc? Yes. Mrs. Dixon, four yeas, no nay. The motion to table passes. Okay, D3. Um, Madam Clerk, would you read the item, please? 
This is an appointment of the members to the zoning board of review. Thank you. May I have a motion to appoint Ms. Denise DeGrade as a full member of the Zoning Board of Review, review, excuse me, review to fill a term of office expiring May 31st, 2026. I'll make the motion. Thank you, Mr. LeBlanc. May I have a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Mr. Shockley. Any discussion? We've all had an opportunity to uh, be interview Mr. Grade a few weeks ago. Uh, roll call vote, Ms. Ludwig? Yes. Mrs. Shockley? Yes. Mr. Mr. LeBlanc? Yes. Mrs. Dixon? Yes. Four yeas, no nay. The motion to appoint Denise DeGrade to a full member of the Zoning Board of Review is approved. Thank you. May I have a motion to reappoint Leonard, I hope I pronounce his name correct, Dog? to continue as an alternate for a term of office expiring May 31st, 2026. Um, Leonard has been an alternate for a long period of time. He's expressed an interest to continue as an alternate. May I have a motion to appoint, reappoint him to continue as an alternate for a term of office expi expiring May 31st, 2026. I'll make a motion. Thank you. May I have a second? I'll second the motion. Thank you. Any discussion? Roll call, Ms. Ludwig? Yes. Mrs. Shockley? Yes. Mr. LeBlanc? Yes. Mrs. Dixon? Yes. Four yeas, no nays. The motion to reappoint, Mr. I'm hoping I pronounce this correctly. Is it Dog? Well, please let me know and I will correct it for the next meeting. The motion passes to reappoint, Ms. Dog. Thank you so much. Uh, we are now at public comment. I would like to open public comment. And I noticed that we have um, a goodly number of people on with us this evening. 32 attendees, that's great. Um, anyone would like to make any comment about any agenda item or any other item? I don't see any hands raised. I'll give it a couple more minutes. People probably thought we were going to be on until 10 o'clock and are surprised it's only 7.58. So <laughs> my, guess, my guess is that people uh, maybe were eating their dinner feeling they could come back at 10. Madam President, eight. there's one request. <laughs> what is it? Oh, we we have a request. We have a. <laughs> oh, they they've lowered their hand. Well, they lowered their hand. Okay, it's just a shock to everyone that it's only seven fifty eight. I'm sure that's true. People right here included. And remember, you didn't start till seven fifteen. Uh, right. Yes, um, that is true. The we have another request. hand. Well, you know, when you table half your agenda items, you can get through a meeting very quickly. Oh. There is a request, Madam President. Okay, I don't, did you bring that person in? I don't see the name right now. Oh, Mr. Clements. Good evening, Mr. Clements. How are you this evening? Doing well, Josh Clements, 10 Gentry Farm Ride. Um, thanks for having me in. I guess it's more of a procedural question uh, and just out of interest and because we have the time, otherwise I'll let you go. You guys get an early evening. Um, since those items were on the agenda, couldn't they just be amended to add the price here and not continue to delay and defer them? Just just curious. Uh, otherwise, looking forward to meeting everyone on Saturday. Thank you. Mr. Garan. Uh, that would be a nice uh, opportunity if, if it were presented, but it's, it's not allowed. You can't amend it uh, at this point. Um, it could have been amended Thursday afternoon, um, but it wasn't. So... Um, in some circumstances, you can amend the agenda, but not on a material item like the money. So um, it was impossible tonight. Thank you for the question. Thank you for your response, Mr. Garum. We all we always learn something new every meeting. <laughs> any other any other question? 
Mr. Clement, do you have another question? I see your hand up. Any other callers? There's no other requests. Okay, thank you. All right, may I have a motion to adjourn this meeting of the town council? I'll make a motion. Thank you, Mrs. Shockley. May I have a second? I'll second the motion. Thank you, Ms. Bloodwick. Any discussion? All those in favor, raise your hand. Okay, for yeas, no nays, the motion to adjourn passes. The meeting is adjourned at 8.01 p.m. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, we're all looking forward to seeing you on Saturday. At meet and greet the town manager. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you.